people don't understand. I mean, people think about rivalries in high school sports and all they want to look at is this basketball rivalry or that football rivalry. And unless you've been a part of the North Central Carmel boys tennis rivalry, you don't really know how deep it goes. You don't understand until you go to one of those state championship matches or for so many years, a sectional. I've gone and seen Georgia play Florida. I've seen Stanford uh, play against Virginia. I've seen some of the best college matches in the history of the, the sport. It, high school tennis, when it comes to North Central and Carmel, is an extremely unique and rare event. If you look for 30 years, I don't think you're going to find a rivalry in many other sports where it's the same two teams fighting at that level. I mean, I'm talking about state championship level every year over and over again. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's about as good as you get in any sport, I'd say. You know, I know everybody likes to call tennis the gentleman's sport. Um, it's, it's a rivalry. It's, it's loud. Um, you've got to go through it. It's like being at a rock concert. It's not to discredit any other team, but it seems like our two teams have been right there the last five years since I've been here. There's been a lot of times where I've stood there, and, and I think I do this every time we play Carmel and Duel. I kind of step back, I eliminate the crowd, and I look across the, you know, at the five courts, and I say to myself, this is pretty high level tennis. Just observing the mass of humanity watching a tennis match, and, and just seeing how these kids and parents were uh, into every single point, every single match, and I looked at my wife and I said, wow, this is just amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the first Indiana edition of State Champs Rivals. My name is Greg Rakestraw. The first voice and person that you saw in this piece was Jim Inskeep, the longtime athletic director at Carmel High School. And he said it very well. Rivalries are not just limited to what happens on the gridiron or on a basketball court. Perhaps the fiercest rivalry in the entire state of Indiana takes place on a tennis court. First of all, a bit of history. There have been 54 boys tennis state champions crowned since the mid 60s in the state of Indiana. In the last 45 years, Carmel and North Central have combined for 33 state championships. North Central has won 20, Carmel has won 13. In the last 11 years, no school other than Carmel or North Central has won a tennis state championship. Carmel has won the last five, North Central won the three before that, and Carmel won the three before those. In the four of the last five years, those two schools have played each other in the state championship match. Oh, and by the way, the two schools are in the same conference, and the two schools are located 5.9 miles apart. And this rivalry has more than just local implications or ramifications. It goes all the way to a current Grand Slam champion. In 2020, Carmel native Raji Ram won the Australian Open Men's Doubles Championship. But he still has fond memories of his high school tennis days they're now over 20 years ago. I had a couple of great matches um, against North Central when I was playing high school tennis, my, you know, the two years that I played. Um, you know, they've always been two of the best teams, you know, over the last, I don't even know, 50 odd years, probably even more than that. And given that history, it's different every time those two teams face one another. It was like uh, the entire year of uh, playing tennis, it was kind of just like, uh, the stakes, I wouldn't say weren't too high, but they were kind of, we'd go into every match and we know we were either going to win or it was going to not be as much of a problem. And then you'd hit Carmel and it was like you were playing a professional team. Like whoever you were playing against, it was like, you, it didn't matter that you'd played with these kids your entire life. It was, uh, it was like, oh wow, now we've got, we're playing like these kids who were going to go play D1. It was pretty shocking the first time playing uh, in front of that crowd. I'd never played in front of a crowd like that before, but it was, I think it was a lot more fun playing tennis, high school tennis that way, instead of like in a calm environment. 
That's Presley Thieneman, who currently plays at Northwestern University after being a state champion in his days at Carmel. And it's more than just the state of Indiana that picks up on the intensity and the special nature of the Carmel North Central tennis rivalry. You'll have um, other coaches, you know, from around the Midwest come to the match and they'll say, "What? What is this? You know, is this is this the state finals?" And it's like, "No, this is just a dual match versus Carmel." When you watch these two teams play each other year in and year out, and there, this landscape of high school tennis in the last ten years has changed so much in Indiana. The the level of play overall is is gone up so much but to me it always just goes back to Carmel and North Central where are they going to meet are they going to meet in the quarterfinals are they going to meet in the state semifinals going to be the state championship and with that it's now time for a bit of a history lesson so let's bring in the head coach of the Carmel Greyhounds from the late 70s to the early 90s a three-time state championship winning coach in Lee Lonzo where he talks about that it used to be not in the state finals that Carmel and North Central would play, but in the opening round of the tournament, the sectionals. For many, many years, we banged heads, and that was to the pleasure of everybody in the state. Uh, Quite frankly, they'd love to see us knock each other out and, and get a chance to get to the state. In the race to be number one, it was the Panthers that originally had a leg up on Carmel. North Central reached a state final first in 1975 and won it first in 1976. It took a while for Carmel to grow into the rivalry. That first year, we most of the sets went 6-0 or 6-1. By year three, we were starting to win some sets. And uh, after that, we got some pretty good players. And then we started, uh, in my mind, competing somewhat at least. That first year, we thought we were pretty good, and we went down to the section and got blown out. And Dick said to me, if you want to be the best, you got to play the best. you got to get them on your schedule. you got to get every good team in the state on your schedule. And if you take a whooping for a while, that's okay. That friend that Lee Lonzo was referencing was Dick Bellahan, who just happens to own eight football state championships at the IHSAA level. His first coming at Carmel in 1978. And the advice on scheduling wasn't the only assistance that Coach Dullahan would offer to his young friend, Coach Lonzo. By the third year, this was a big deal. Um, I mean, to the point that Dick Dullahan called off football practice to come down and watch our sectional meet against North Central. That's, that was a pretty big sacrifice. It was a Thursday night. He had a game the next night, and he, uh, he brought the team down there in buses and Oh my goodness, there, there were uh, fans everywhere. There was usually a bigger crowd for that at the sectional than there was at the state final. The, the, uh, the years of uh, 79 and 80 and 81, I'd be shocked if there weren't a thousand people there. I mean, they were, they were in every seat, sitting on the ground all the way up to the fence. There were people hanging off the balconies at the North Central Clubhouse. I mean, it was, it, was, it was crazy. And it, it sounded more like a basketball game than it did a tennis match. While it was a rivalry joined, make no mistake about it, under the leadership of Byron Buckley, North Central won 15 state championships in a 20-year stretch from 1976 until 1995. And the Panthers would win it again in 2000 before Carmel won their next championship in 2003 and athletic director Jim Inskeep feels that it was at that time that there was a change in the rivalry. 2002 was a real breakthrough year for us into 2003 and Mike Bostic was early in his head coaching career with us and we had a group of kids um, Ethan Jaffe, Stephen Otta, Brian Heck those those three kids played one singles two singles three singles for us and they were they were phenomenal and they kind of switched the narrative for us at that time and uh, did so over a couple of years and it was a really special time um, early in my tenure. Coach Howard Jones and I, when we started, we, we knew that history and we knew we wanted to build something special. Um, so when we broke through in 2003, it was just exhilarating for us, for the kids, for, for the program, because we knew we were back. Since that 2003 season, Carmel has won 10 state championships, while North Central 
has won four. And during the entirety of that time, North Central and Carmel have seen each other numerous times during the regular season. They have been longtime rivals, but they've now been a part of the same league since 1996. The Metropolitan Interscholastic Conference, better known as the MIC, which has eight of the top 25 school enrollments in the state of Indiana and is a powerhouse league in virtually every sport. So the Greyhounds and Panthers don't just see each other one time a season. Oh, no. It's four times over the course of a season that takes less than two months to complete. You know, when we get the schedule out, the first thing we do at the beginning of the year, we circle. Where can we, we face NC and the Shirley. We face North Central and the Mick. Well, here's where we're going to see them here. When might we possibly see them again at, ahead of time? And that's that's the first practice of the year. So our season kicks off. Where are we going to possibly see North Central at? And we see them in the John Shirley Invitational. We see them in the regular season. And then we see them again at the conference tournament before the state championship. So I think there's the understanding that go out there and play. Don't do anything too stupid. That's going to make them, you know, bulletin board material for you. And um, it's kind of like how, it's kind of how you gauge your season here from North Central. So the preseason is up to the Shirley. Okay, let's let's see what happens to the Shirley. Then you've got a week and a half later, or so you've got the dual match. Let's see what happens there. And then you've got the Mick, which is towards the end of the season, right before um, county starts. And so it gives you kind of a measuring stick, but at the same time. Um, the atmosphere is totally different. It's like a chess match. If you see them at the John Shirley Invitational, what 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 lineup are they throwing out? What do, you know? What are they going to do after that? Because you know we're going to meet them in, in the dual match after the John Shirley Invitational. That the Shirley would be our first look at them, and then you'd you'd see them in the regular season, and usually it would be a different look. And that, that made us be at our best. It really raised our level of coaching and play. It's very rare that you see someone sweep the season series. Whether someone wins a conference or a lineup shift happens and all of a sudden you're winning the away match versus the home, it's very seldom you see the season sweep. Um, more importantly, it really does then on that last match, you know, you've built up all of this past experience you feel you know what's going to happen, but there's so much uncertainty and so much just anticipation that builds up to that. And that to me just shows it, it doesn't matter. It's kind of that throughout the records type thing because you know that the matchup is just going to be um, nip and tuck the whole way. And, and those each one of those matches, especially in the state tournament when we face each other, they mean so much. You know, number two doubles means just as much as what's going on at center court at number one singles. The first three times we meet don't matter. The first three times we meet are we, we're measuring where we're at and what we've got to change as we go further in the year. Um, it's the last time we meet that matters and usually that's the state finals and, and that's what we're, we're gunning for. It's, it's always what you're gunning for. You're always gunning, you're always gunning for a state finals and usually Carmel's in the way. With a rivalry as intense as this one, there's no need for coaches to point out to players when the other is going to be on the schedule. Coaches and players know when that other opponent is right around the corner. I know we have to bring our best. We've got to be ready to go. And, um, you know, as, as a coach, I look at, you know, we know when they're on the schedule, our practices amp up. Guys, guys show up early as it is. They show up even earlier. They stay even later. Most of the time, like the week prior to knowing, or a couple days or whatever, I would say even a week prior to knowing that you played Carmel, like you would work a little bit harder. You would, you would go to bed and wake up thinking about, oh, I'm playing Carmel this week. Perhaps when you think of the sport of tennis, physical toughness doesn't come to mind, but mental toughness absolutely should. It's either you or you and your doubles partner. 1v1, 2v2 on the court. There's no help. And in the case of Carmel and North Central, there's hundreds, if not more than a thousand, watching each and every match. It is a cauldron to develop mental toughness skills. When you face that competition, and it, it toughens your kids up. And, and it also reveals to me as a coach, some kids maybe aren't ready for that. Some might think that they want to be in that battle and some 
aren't. And as a coach, you got to figure out, all right, these are the kids right here in this lineup that we want to throw out once sectional starts that we feel can take us all the way. I mean, you can look at records when we play them and you can, hey, this team's the favorite or this team's the favorite, but it usually comes down to when we play them, uh, who, who's mentally tougher, who can handle the adversity, who can handle the outside noise, who can handle the occasional maybe call that you didn't agree with. I mean, it's more up in your head than it is really what you're doing on the court. There have been different years where the regular season has been a 5-0 match and you think, boy, it's a little lopsided this year. No way. I mean, we, we saw that this year. In two, 2020, um, lopsided regular season match between Carmel and North Central. Uh, Carmel fortunate to come out on the winning end of that. In that state championship match, I mean, it went right down to the fifth match, singles, number two singles, and uh, the third set and a come from behind victory for, for Eli Mercer to win the title. The, the key speech that I, we've always prided ourselves on at North Central with Carmel is mental toughness is the key. Maybe not physical toughness at all. We assume that everyone can hit a tennis ball. We've seen each other four times of the year. It's not so much about hitting it to the forehand or a backhand. It's about how do you handle four all, 30 all, with 2,000 people watching you play tennis, half of them yelling against you, and half of them probably cheering for you. How do you handle that? What, what, what can you do in those moments of your life? I mean, mentally there was times where I double fault a game just not even thinking about it or just getting in my head about something that I had just done or messing up or whatnot. Because if you got too enveloped in it, I mean, you see there's a couple hundred people standing on the fence right behind you screaming at you and uh, this and that. And the people that um, would entertain that and get into it, it, it never really turned out for the better. So For both teams, beating the other as many times as possible during the season, especially when it comes to the postseason, that's a major goal. However, for those that have now played in the rivalry, coached in the rivalry, simply taken part in any aspect of the rivalry, it's a badge of honor to say you played for Carmel or North Central against the other. It's definitely cool to say that uh, you participated in it. And, uh, I mean, I think about it all the time. I mean, a lot of, the, like I said, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the people that I played against or played with, I talk to probably almost every week. I will be completely honest, and I still get this uh, feeling in my stomach when I walk in, um, I get out of the car, long day of school, you're frustrated at certain things, but you walk in and you just kind of, you sit there, you go through the gate at between court seven and eight. And it's, uh, you know, you just feel like, honestly, you feel like you have some something to uphold, something to fight for, but also, um, you do think back on the memories of how many people have played here the last 50 plus years. Um, the fact that at every match, um, at least since I've been here, every home match, maybe except for this year with COVID, you've got Barbara Wynn sitting front row on the stands saying, go and see. It's, it's amazing. Um, the locker rooms and, and just the traditions that have continued um, here, it, it makes it just special. I mean, to play for, for one of the, uh, for the uh, most winningest state champion program in the state, um, I, absolutely, as a parent, you're proud of that. But I've been lucky enough to do, you know, to, to take my tennis a bit above and beyond and, and still those, those high school matches bring back so many good memories of competition, intensity, and, you know, a bit of heartache, a bit of, you know, joy and, and everything in between. And, uh, and we'll remember that for, for the rest of my life, for sure. When you put the jacket on, when you put the North Central hat on or the Carmel hat on, you know that you're in for a really important endeavor in life. Um, so I think the best way to say it is, you know that you're guiding a ship that is bigger than you are. Even though I'm not at Carmel High School anymore, don't know the kids, don't even know the coaches that well, uh, uh, there's just something about that match that's magic to me. Uh, I think, I think for as I get older, uh, I just appreciate the competition and appreciate the ability to, to be there and um, the parents, the whole program, the whole idea, the holistic aspect of it is so important and it's made North Central into a really neat tradition. It's And winning is important, but um, family and the bonds that are created go for a long time. It goes way beyond 
being able to just coach tennis and, and being able to have strategy. It goes down to, can I put aside my individual match? Can I put aside my disappointment that I'm not on the varsity court and cheer on my teammates to, to a victory in a team sport? And that to me is, is one of the most fun things about tennis and this rivalry is it really does take an entire program supporting each other to, to get over the top when you're playing at a school like North Central in tennis. Uh, it's, it's just been a, a, it was a fun, fun ride for 18 years and, uh, and most of that was all concentrated on that one rivalry, North Central Panthers. I think that's what, why the both programs are successful is the kids put in the time and um, they want to get better and that, that's one of the reasons our kids play high school tennis from both schools is they want to clash and meet each other on the high school courts and um, fight for a state championship. So, you know, looking back, you know, you go back years, even when I was a player, this program was successful. I'm just hoping to keep it going and stay right up there at the top. It's the greatest unknown rivalry that sports has ever had.